just want to say thank you again to everyone that um, yeah that I came across. Uh, hopefully I'll see them soon and yeah, n never know when but we'll see what happens, what brings, what the future has in store. Namaste from Kathmandu, Nepal. And a couple of days ago, um, when I came, when I arrived back here in Kathmandu from Pokhara, um, I actually came back just to buy a flat ticket because all the flats online they're not available. You couldn't buy any flats online, so you, you only had to come to Kathmandu and go into an agency. And as I was looking for the agency, I found it on Google Map. It told me where it was, and there was a kid. Before that, before finding there's a kid that came up to me, ran up to me, asked me for money and I didn't have any change on me so I couldn't give any money. Then after I came around 9am to the agency and and people were saying oh the agency opens around 10 so I waited outside until 10 and I went there. There was still not open again. Then after I went back to wait again, then after the kid walked past me with a police guy. Then as he was walking back, he was like, come, 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 talk to this guy because he couldn't really speak English properly. And he, he introduced me to a guy that spoke a little bit of English and the guy told me, oh, the place is actually changed location, so it's around the corner. And he gave me the new address. So I feel like I'm indebted to this kid that actually kind of helped me out to actually buy the ticket. Because if it wasn't from him, if it wasn't for him, like, I would have never probably got the ticket, I probably have been waiting until today for the office to open. <laughs> so in my suitcase uh, it's fully stacked and I have some clothes that I bought along with me on this journey but I didn't wear it. So um, I just feel like I'm just going to go and try to find him and give it to him. Hopefully he, he does like it <laughs> and it fits as well. So yeah I'm just walking down where I met him and hopefully He's here and yeah, I can just say thank you to him and give him a few clothes as well. And this is the company where I bought my return ticket back to Europe. Uh, it was from here. And as you can see, like it's completely shut. The shutters are done. And I would have never known that like, they'll move offices because it's around the corner. They're using a different office now. And the kid is not here. So I don't know what to do. Should I wait or walk around and try and find him? Yeah, hopefully I do, I, I do find him. I don't think the kid is here today. Can't find him right now. So maybe I will come tomorrow morning and hopefully he's here. But in the meantime, like this area here, the first time I actually came here was that like, two days ago. <laughs> I never knew like this place, this road, it was here. Yeah, it's so nice, so clean. And it's only around the corner from, and Tamil as well. It's completely different. Here it's a bit more, luxurious yeah they have the rolex store they have so many designer stores here like even kfc <laughs> yeah you don't really see a lot of fast chain uh, food places here in and in, in nepal just normally locals and uh, local stores yeah i just think i'll just return tomorrow because <laughs> it's getting hot now it's almost past the curfew as well for the time to people to be outside so I reckon I just come back tomorrow and hopefully I do see him here so yeah see you tomorrow
so I'm back in my old stomping grounds this is like where it all started like few, many months ago I remember walking through the street trying to get to my Airbnb and not knowing the shortcuts or anything like that but this is like a few hours later I just came back from the hospital to do my PCR and test and I was thinking of finding a way tomorrow but I think because my flight is tomorrow night and I don't think it's a good idea to be outside and searching for the guy I think it's just probably best just to pack, get ready yeah because it's going to be a long journey so I feel today what I'm going to do is go to where I was staying like my old place I was staying before and meet up with the Muslim guys that were living at the bottom that invited me over for Ramadan just to break the fast yeah, I was pretty much there quite a lot, just eating with them. So I feel just a way to say thank you. I'll give them a few items of clothes and a few food as well. I've already given one of the guys uh, no sign, um, a few clothes. Like I left it to him like two days ago, but he's not in Kathmandu at the moment. He's back in the villages. So the other two guys, uh, they don't really speak English, but they're there at the moment so I'm just gonna go there and just hand them the clothes that I have so yeah let's just go and meet up with them and another thing about this guys as well because I saw a comment on YouTube where I'll try and bring it up and post it here where the a guy said uh, commented that he was touched by the generosity of actually inviting me over to their place and yeah allow me to share that special moment with them so and he said if he was dead he would have offered them some cash or something like that but this guy's here like i don't think they would want to be giving cash i feel like the only receive money that they earned I, if i try to give them some money i don't think they'll accept it so giving them that like, clothes or food or something like that i think it should be okay but I'm here right now, I'm just gonna go and give them, hopefully they're there by the way, I'm just gonna go and give them the clothes and yeah, let's go. Namaste. Hey, hello. How are you? You okay? Sleep? Ah, okay. I'll give you this. So I'm here with one of the brothers, not too sure if you can see me properly. <laughs> I've got a hat that's, I've been literally almost everywhere with it. Like uh, from Singapore, Myanmar, uh, Turkey, Bangladesh, even here. So I'll give this to him. For you, what do you say? <laughs> and a few jumpers as well. I bought a jumper, I've done a video of me buying a jumper, and yeah, I don't think I'll need a jumper anymore, so I'm just gonna give him a jumper as well. Jumper for you, yeah, and a shirt, a black shirt. He hardly wore this, so I'm just gonna give it to him. Hopefully, he likes. And this is just a bandana. I'll give it to him as well for you. <laughs> and this is a polo, a polo top similar to what I'm wearing. And yeah, another thing I'll give to him for you as well. <laughs> yeah, one of the other bros is seen. He's seen it there. He's seen there. I've got two white tops as well and, yeah, and another bandana I'll do and what else do I have? Ah, apples they like apples I'll give apples as well okay. I'll give them apples 
Then done. Two apples and some cooking stuff as well. Where I've got some wait, uh, some soya sauce, pepper, and some sugar. Yeah, and the guy's cooking right now, so you can probably deal with it. There you go, brother. I think that's about it. That's everything that uh, yeah that I can give to them. I don't like I said. I, I don't think they accept money. I think they will rather earn the money that they earn. So giving stuff like this, they'll probably appreciate it quite a lot. And yeah, I, I hope when I return next time, I'll see them wearing it. But yeah, they've been so friendly. They've been so nice, and allowing me to use the internet here. I eat, I've been eating here as well. Yeah, it was so good that like, meeting them. Like I said, that like, most of them they're out in the villages now, right now, because of the lockdown restriction, no more work, no more customers. And I hope this that like, it will lift us off the morale and it will show that like, there's actually, actually people out there that actually care for them. So I just hope that like, lockdown ends very soon. And I just want to say thank you to them and just to show that I appreciate them, for my niece. Yeah, and just show that how much I appreciate them and stuff like that. And hopefully, when I return here again, they'll be here to welcome me <laughs> and I'll be able to come and eat with them as well and share the experience with you guys. Yeah, it's been a journey. So, right now, I'm just here just saying thank you to everyone here. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate them a lot. So, that's it. Okay, thank you. So, the shop right behind me. Uh, yeah. They've been so helpful, like every time I need something I'll literally just come downstairs, get something and go back upstairs. I was with them for like two months. Every day before going somewhere, I'll stop by there, just talk to whoever's there. Sometimes there's a little girl that's there, she's only 12 years old. She speaks a little bit of English and her older cousin, she was 20 years old. Yeah, I'll speak to them as well. Like they've been so friendly and so helpful. Like, <laughs> yeah, over here, like you just feel like, it just felt like a little small family just being here like they've been so friendly and helpful so i'm just here just to say goodbye to them and yeah just say thank you to them for everything as well like they've been so nice to me namaste namaste sir <laughs> so i guess this is it this is my old stomping ground i was pretty much here like almost every day ah, it's gonna feel so weird like if you're watching this video like in I don't know however many months years and just remembering how life was here and just seeing how it is now that's like, so empty deserted hardly anyone here but yeah as long as I was able to come here and experience like the true authentic natural everyday life of people in Nepal then I'm happy with that it's not too bad but yeah it just feels surreal that like, just knowing that I said goodbye <laughs> and I was here in Nepal yeah just want to say thank you again to everyone that um, yeah that I came across uh, hopefully I'll see them soon and yeah, not, never know when but we'll see what happens what brings what the future has in store so yeah I think that's it for me and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. The next one is probably me on a chartered flight <laughs> to Doha. <sighs> the journey never stops. <laughs> it just keeps on going and going and going and going. Uh, living inside the unknown. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow on another video. So goodbye from me from here in lockdown. Kathmandu, no fall. Thank you, no fall. Bye bye.